this place and the clearing of the forest is going to be perfect. You remember what we're doing, right? Right, yes. So all the other vampires and the council are here to witness your abilities, what your blood can do. Okay. So I'm gonna have you undress everything except for your boxers because you, everything's gonna get ripped off when you transform, obviously. Okay. As you understand, I will help you into the cuffs as soon as you take everything off. I'm going to make sure that Luna, my witch friend, has the barrier around. Then I'm going to explain to everyone that they are protected, they are safe, and exactly what is going on. Okay? And yeah. Alright, so you go ahead and dress. I'm going to talk to Luna really fast. Okay. So the barrier spell. Everything is set. Everything is okay. All the vampires will be protected, and you, of course. No, I won't be standing outside the barrier. I know that Jeffrey won't hurt me. Even if he does bite me, perchance, I'll be okay. Alright, barrier's all set. Everyone's good. Awesome, babe. I'm going to take some of your blood. So we can show the abilities here. Interesting. I don't, I mean, obviously we haven't tested this that much, so I wonder exactly how much blood it takes. If it only takes a couple drops, or it takes a lot, that should be good. I'm gonna lick it to heal it. Good, it should begin to start healing now. In the future, I wonder if we can take your blood and put it in some sort of small vial? and like an inoculation gun and just be able to inject that into vampires into ourselves obviously I don't want to overtax you or anything so it's like we take like a lot of blood or anything like that ever but just so that you don't have to be around to save a vampire I mean this is obviously up to you if you feel comfortable with that but it's definitely something I feel like we should talk about this in a safe place where you can't accidentally knock it down. Alright. So Luna has the barrier up. You are undressed. Let me put you in cuffs really fast here. Don't want to hurt you. Let me know if I'm hurting you. But I do know they need to be secure. That's why we're all safe. How's I feel? A little tighter? Okay. You're the best judge of this. Have you been in cuffs a lot before? Hmm, that makes sense. Everything's going to be okay. I won't let anyone hurt you. I promise. <sighs> Alright. As you can all see, fellow vampires and the council, this is Jeffrey Austin. He is the well, werewolf that has been turned vampire and is now a hybrid. I asked all of you to be joined here today and the council agreed and this is what they wanted to do to witness him transform. As you can see, it is not a full moon. He can transform now at will whenever he wants to. In a way, the vampire blood, my vampire blood, cured his werewolf curse. So, in turn, this did something that I would have never expected. It has given his blood the ability to heal vampires from werewolf bites. 
We've already proven it twice. He bit me, and then I drank his blood, and I was cured. And then, uh, poor Jennifer here, she came in to me for help. She was bitten by a werewolf, and we had just done our test. Jeffrey was able to cure her with his blood. I'm so thankful that Jennifer was saved. And thank you, Jennifer, for believing that this was possible. All right, the other thing I know a lot of you are super concerned is my witch friend, Luna, has put a barrier around us so that he will not be able to reach any of you. I know you're also concerned for my well-being. I will be fine. I do not believe that Jeffrey will harm me. And even if you were to bite me, we all know that I will be fine. It will just be a bite that will cause me some discomfort and sickness for a while. But either way, I believe in Jeffrey and I know that his blood will work. So even if I were to be bitten, I know his blood would cure me. Is everyone ready? Thank you for trusting me as one of your high council members. And thank you to the council for trusting me as one of the founding members of the council. Baby, are you ready? Oh, I know you're not, but you will transform. All right, you got this. I know you do. Okay. Go ahead. Watch his eyes. They turn from bright red to yellow, the eyes of a werewolf. <sighs> Hear him yell. He is in pain. This is extremely painful for them to transform. He is doing this just to prove a point to all of you. <sighs> the cracking of his bones. As you can see, he now has fur. His teeth have changed drastically. For you, for the vampire kind, our coven, so that we know that we have a cure. <sighs> He's fully transformed. <sighs> no, no, please, no, don't, don't kill him. <sighs> he can get a hold of his werewolf form, I know he can, please. Please, please, just give me a chance. Give him a chance. It'll be okay. Oh, Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey, I know you're in there. It's okay. It's me. Oh, Jeffrey.
saying that to the werewolf kiss. <laughs> Thanks for the kisses, baby. That was adorable. Never seen such a tame beast. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. See, he has control of his werewolf form. He even licked me. He gave me a werewolf kiss. I knew he could do it. Thank you for not killing him. Thank you for giving him a chance. And believing in him. And me. Alright. So, to demonstrate, we've obviously all come here to see the sights. Watch him transform, which is truly magnificent. He has so much power. I need a volunteer to be bitten by him. No one? Please, someone. You must be brave enough. I feel like if I get bitten, it's not a good show. Because I obviously care for him and have connected feelings. Anyone? No one is brave enough. Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, I know you don't want to go through the pain again, but do you at least know when you believe? Yes, you're willing to show. Thank you so much. That really means a lot to both of us. All right. Jennifer, you can do this. Just a single bite. All right. Go ahead, Jennifer. You. Okay, let me grab the blood. Here. As you all can see, Jennifer is indeed bitten, and she is starting to feel the effects from the vampire. I mean, from the vampire, from the werewolf bite. But she will now be feeling the healing effects from the hybrid.
Jennifer. She knew that it would work. What you expected no one to do it, so what's the point of this? Hmm. Really? Oh, that's such good news. Thank you. Thank you very much. Even though that you know I have immense power over this council. Not having to fight was my goal here. can take the barrier down. Thank you very much. Again, thank you, Luna. This was amazing. It was obviously very important for our demonstration. Thank you. I have amazing news, babe. The council says that you are now a member of this coven. The coven. A member of this coven. And no vampire is allowed to hurt you or kill you, or there will be a huge price to pay. Mm -hmm. It means everything went well today. We will have no problems with the council or any other vampires. And as I said before in disgust, we can find a way that's comfortable for you to be able to use your blood to the best we can and help as many vampires as we can. Hopefully there won't be a bunch of rampant werewolf bites, but you know your own kind. <laughs> so yay. This was so success successful. Thank you, baby. You are truly wonderful. How are you feeling after the transformation? Okay, and how about after I took some of your blood? Oh, I knew you might feel a little bit that way, so I actually brought you a blood bag when you were back in your vampire form to drink. Here you go. That way you can replenish and feel better. I would imagine the transformation takes so much out of you. I mean, I did take some blood too, so. Mm. Good, yes, drink up, baby. Feel better, please. Good, just enjoy that blood back. It's that werewolf. was not happy that one of your kin is here. He is not like you anymore. He is not just a werewolf. He is a hybrid with my blood coursing through his veins. He is not going to save you. He is not going to help you. Hmm. 
didn't want to be a werewolf. He never did. <sighs> you ripped his heart out. <sighs> you are truly amazing. Oh, Jeffrey. <sighs> the council is pleased, obviously, and so am I. Jennifer, that's the werewolf that bit you. Well, we won't be having to worry about him anymore. So he was being rampant before this, fighting vampires, hunting on our territory. Thank you for taking care of him. The council's very pleased. You have proved your loyalty. Quite a lot to the vampires. Is there anything else we need to do? Luna. She said to burn a werewolf heart. That way, there's no spell that can be performed to put his heart back into his body. Are you prepared to do that? Go ahead. Give the heart to Luna. Let's go. 